Hey guys, Lucas from Field Moto here today. Uh, just wanted to go over some basics and what to expect really when you receive a PV4 from us that you purchase. Um, here we got a, a 16 103 bike that we've just shared a tune with in the app. Uh, we're gonna go over just kind of the basics. So uh, what you'll start with is turning the key on, making sure your kill switch is on, and you'll have the PV4 down there plugged in under your left hand side cover on most models. Uh, you can see there that it's all ready to pair. So. Uh, really from here all you have to do is log into the app. Uh, the easiest thing to do is make your account with the same email address you placed your order with. Uh, here we're already logged into this account we're using so we'll go ahead and click scan. PV4 will appear, that's already plugged in. We're connected. And then here should be the tune that we've already shared with you. This will come from either Lucas, Fuel Maps, or Jamie. There are a couple different accounts we might send it to you from. So you can click on that. You can see the shared with me tunes. You'll see it there. You can accept it. Then from there, all you'll need to do is select the tune. Go ahead and flash. It'll tell you that you have no license and that'll ask you to use a token. You can click yes. And it'll go through a brief read and write process here. And that's all finished. You can select a name for your stock file. It's typically best practice to just leave it your VIN number. That'll save your stock file so you can revert it any time. There's a, just a warning regarding your battery being charged there. And then here it'll begin the write process. It'll write the custom tune that we just selected. And now the tune has been successfully flashed. You can view here in your tune section, if you ever are curious of what tune's currently in your bike, the last tune flashed will always be displayed at the top of your tunes list here. Um, so that would just be from the main menu, back to your tunes, list of all your tunes. See here we have the tune that we just flashed, the stock file, and we can indicate uh, what last tune was flashed, which is the one we just flashed. From here, it's probably a good idea to cycle the key. Let the bike power down. Uh, you no longer need the app at this point. And then once that's all set, turn the key back on, start the bike. You're all set to go. Uh, you can leave the PV4 connected if you wish to do so. Uh, really, if you're viewing diagnostics, live data, anything like that, uh, data logging rather, um, those will be uses for that being connected. It's also just handy to leave under your side cover since it takes up very minimal room. Um, other than that, it's pretty much, uh, that's, that's the gist of it. Uh, if you do have any questions, as always, you can reach out to us at info at fuelmotousa.com, Lucas or Jamie at fuelmotousa.com, or call us at 920-423-3309.